The following questions talk about uh, writing equations of lines with that are parallel to other lines. So if we took the time to graph this line, it would be um, a line with slope 3 and y intercept negative 5. And what the problem is asking us is we want another um, line that is parallel to it, but with just a different y intercept. It's in a different place on the graph. Now what's interesting about parallel lines, the key component is it would also have the exact same slope. So starting off immediately, I know what the slope of my line is going to be. The slope is going to be 3 because they, uh, parallel lines have the same slope. So now I know the slope. I know a point. My new line goes through the point 1, 3, so it's a very simple problem. Uh, th these are the basic finding the equation of the line problems. Given a point, given a slope. Well, what you do is you plug your point into your y equals 3x plus b, and you solve for b because the goal is to find out what is the y-intercept. So put 3 in for y, 1 in for x, you get 3 equals 3 plus b, solve for b, so subtract 3 from both sides, and you end up with b equals 0. So the y-intercept is 0, so it just goes through the origin is what that means, and so your answer is y equals 3x plus 0, but we don't usually write the 0, so it's just y equals 3x. The second problem, uh, it's not quite as obvious because it's uh, the line you're parallel to isn't solved for y. So we've got to do a little bit of work to find out what the slope of um, the line that we're parallel to is. And so we're going to write that equation down and then solve for y to put it into slope-intercept form. So 2x plus 3y equals 5, so put it in a slope-intercept form. We're going to subtract 2x from both sides because we're slope-intercept form gets y by itself, so that's what we were doing there. Now we have to divide through by 3 because y has to have a coefficient of 1. And we end up with y equals a negative 2 thirds x plus 3. So the slope of the line, or plus 5 over 3, so the slope of the line is negative 2 thirds. That's the slope of our line that we're trying to get a parallel line to, so that must be the slope of our line. So we, now we go back to, you got a point and a slope, so y equals negative 2 thirds x plus b. Plug in 6 for x and 1 for y from our point, because that's what have to be, that point has to make it true, so we've got to find b that makes that true. So 1 goes in for y, 6 goes in for x. And then it's just a matter of, of working it out. Two, negative 2 thirds times 6 is the same as negative 12 over 3, which would be negative 4. So what, one, negative 2 thirds times 6 is negative 4. So you end up with 1 equals negative 4 plus b. Well, solving for b is very simple now. Just add 4 to both sides. And you get b equals 5. So your solution is y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 5. So the key to this problem is the, the steps are find the slope of the first equation that you're parallel to. Plug it into y equals mx plus b, plug in the point, solve for b, then you're going to go back and as I just did here, rewrite the equation. Uh